Mm-hmm. You cannot pre-decide if somebody is getting or not. Um, apart from that, okay, so coming to the scholarship, I applied from the website now uh, of QE when I was applying for masters, there is there are options to like, check boxes that telling, yeah, I also want to apply for a scholarship. And yeah, I have gone details about that in my video, so you can watch. Um, so, so once you have uh, done, so there were two types of scholarships. Um, the one I got is ALSP slash Holland scholarship. I don't know who exactly is funding this. Is it the government or the TV? I read it, I forgot. And there's another scholarship, which, which is a much smaller amount. Um, that is, I think just 500 euros a month or something. It's pretty small. And this is the other scholarship, which is quite big. Uh, so this scholarship only applies to internationals, not European Union people. And uh, so for European Union, already the price is quite high, as you should be, many of people are aware. So for internationals in ALSP, uh, so my whole tuition fee is covered. So for both the years, um, so it is like, as I said, 16,000 euros for a year. And if it increases next year, so whatever the increase doesn't matter, it's covered in the scholarship. And, uh, the, but there is a catch here, that is, if in first year you do not get 45 credits, then your scholarship is stopped, and you have to pay back whatever scholarship you got in first year. Oh, okay. Which is huge. So, uh, so, so, so the ideal credit should be 60 credits a year, if you're doing it properly. Uh, but uh, to have your scholarship continued, you have to get at least 45. Uh, so luckily, I'm good with that, and I used to, I'm still getting this scholarship and I'm safe for another year. And now it's very common to extend masters uh, in, in 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 the country or like places here. Like you can extend it by six months for whatever reason. All you have to do is pay pay extra fees to uh, for for the extra semester which you want to extend. Is very possible, but scholarship doesn't cover any kind of extensions. So if I extend beyond 24 months, it's my responsibility to pay that money and my responsibility to pay living costs as well. So the thing I didn't mention yet is the scholarship can, uh, covers two things. First is the whole tuition fee for two years. And second is 50% of the living cost uh, for both the years. So uh, so that is 5,000 euros per year, which the university gives me. So first of all, I'm not paying anything to the university. And second of all, university pays me 5,000 a year for two years. So I totally get a 10,000 euros from the university. And now this uh, 5,000 universities is not given to you in a chunk. You get it like if you divide it by 12, whatever you get it, you get it that amount every month uh, credited to your, your bank. Uh, yeah, that's good. And I also mentioned this, but I'll just add it again. You can apply for housing allowances here in Netherlands, which um, if you're a student and if you uh, your rent is within certain criteria mm-hmm. and your age is within a certain limit, then you can uh, apply for an allowance, which is, which is pretty decent. And yeah. with a scholarship and an allowance, almost 100% of your rent can be covered. You all have to bear your like regular eating like food expenses basically I, okay i already made a video in the end of 2018 on the house rent allowance so you can see it flashing on the screen yeah <laughs> yes okay yeah uh just wait uh.